All right, guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a lyrical breakdown of Nirvana's Come As You Are, mm -hmm. just so you can go ahead and give your own interpretation to this song. Mm -hmm. It may or may not be correct, but you can leave your comments down below in the comment section. It's up for interpretation, which yes. means it doesn't have to be right. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay. So in the first verse, he says, Come as you are, as you were, as I want you to be. As a friend, as a friend, as a known enemy. Oh, ooh. so okay, I didn't hear that part. So come as you are, as you were, as I want you to be, as a friend, as a friend, as an old enemy. Take your time, hurry up. Choice is yours. Don't be late. Take a rest as a friend, as an old memory. Uh, why does it say memoria? I don't know. <laughs> but what do you get from that? Well, hmm. It's kind of like a friend of me. They're your friend, but they really aren't. Okay. You know, so simple as that. And the pre chorus goes memoria, memoria, memoria. Is that correct? Yeah. Memoria. Mm -hmm. Memory. Yeah, but isn't he saying memory, but he's just enunciating the why. I don't know why they put memory or like that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. Okay. Verse two. Come doused in mud, soaked in bleach. I did hear that part. As I want you to be, as a trend, as a friend, as an old memory. And so in the biblical, you know, or Christian world, you know, it always says, like, you know, being a Christian, you'll be forgiven of your sins and you'll be, like, white as snow, something like that, like, cleansing you or whatever. So when I heard the soaked in bleach, it's kind of, it's still, like, his own form of, like, cleansing you because like right now you're dirty you're an enemy let me cleanse you but not of your sins but in bleach because you know this is how i want you to be and basically you're a memory so he's thinking back on when you know they probably was friends so it goes to the pre-chorus memory 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 or memory uh and then the chorus goes, and I swear that I don't have a gun. No, I don't have a gun. No, I don't have a gun. And so the way he was thinking it, that's why I was like, buddy, I'm not convinced. Even I'm not convinced. Obviously, you have a gun, you know, and you know, whenever you have like an argument with with someone and they're lying and they're trying to convince you otherwise and then keep repeating the same thing over and over again, and it's like, dude, I know you're lying. <laughs> you know, if you have to keep re repeating it over and over again. And so then it goes into the guitar solo, pre-chorus, memory, yeah. Memory, yeah. So, and then he says, no, I don't have a gun. And then it goes into the chorus that says, and I swear that I don't have a gun. He lied. No, I don't have a gun. And he repeats it four times. So obviously he has a gun. And so because this friend who is now an enemy, basically a traitor, he's going to cleanse him of his sins by basically killing him. That's what I get. And so it could be where he's, and I kind of feel like he's thinking of himself as the enemy, you know, like he, he's an enemy to himself. He, he once was his friend. He was hit, you know, you could be kind to yourself and then you kind of portray yourself doing by doing bad things that you shouldn't be doing. You know, it could be taken different ways. But he definitely has a gun. <laughs> so this is just a simple breakdown, 
you know, um, nothing too deep. I don't want to say deep because I, I feel like there's there's so much behind like yeah, the was. simplicity yeah. of the the song and like even I told you like he definitely has a gun and it just made me think like how did he kill himself and so I really wasn't convinced so me thinking he's writing this song like basically he's trying to convince himself that maybe he won't kill himself either because it it does like i said it sounds like he's talking to himself and it's like he can't trust himself right. so yeah that's what i got and you can edit some of this out <laughs> that's all i have for today guys i hope you enjoyed this simplistic lyrical breakdown um, if you got something else from this lyrical breakdown, please share them below. Like I said, it's up to interpretation. Um, I can't say you're wrong. You know, you can say that I'm wrong, but it's neither here nor there. I'm tired. Sorry for rambling. So thank you so much for watching. And for more lyrical breakdowns, leave your requests below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so I can see you next time. Ta-ta. Memories.